fun. <laughs> gimel, gimel. If one hires a laborer to tend olives, and he said to him, on condition that I may eat olives. Hold, if... hold, hold. We are in the, um, in the wrong place. We're uh -huh. in, we should be in uh, Gimel Vav, right? Yeah, Gimel Vav. Why do I have... Because that's the other thing. Okay. What what courtyard rent is liable to Maestris? No. Six. What I, you said oh you said both. <sighs> Roofs are exempt even when they belong to a courtyard, which is liable. A doorway, port is a courtyard. If it is liable, they are liable. And if it is exempt, they are exempt. Cone shaped huts, watch huts, and summer huts are exempt. In a Zareth hut, even if they are a handmill and poultry in it is exempt. A potter's hut, the inner hut, is liable, but the outer one is exempt. Rabbi Yossi says, whatever this is a summer dwelling and a winter dwelling is exempt. A festival a tabernacle on the festival, Rabbi Yehuda declares it liable and the common declare it. Because it is because it is because the sukkah is a dearest ri. By uh, definition, it's a, it's a dearest ri. Um, so therefore, it's uh, therefore. Uh, it, uh, it, is, it isn't cover for masters. From a fig tree which stands in the yard, one may eat one by one and is exempt. But if together he has one um, in his right uh, hand and one in his left hand and one in his mouth, and if he climbs to the top, he may fill his lap and eat. That is, if you're standing in the courtyard, then you've got the dinner of the courtyard. But if you're in, the, but as soon as you climb uh, ten tefachim up into the tree, you're now in a different trishus. You're now which right. is no longer the chatzar. So therefore, you, if you're actually in the tree, then you can eat as much as you like, fill up your hair, and and uh, right. right, and that's just all right. Mishnah test give a gefen shehina tua bechatzer. So you've got a grape a grapevine which is planted in a in a private in a private. Not tell is kola eshkol. Bechen berimon bechen beavatiach di ber Rabbi Tarfon. So Rabbi Tarfon is a dissenting opinion. Up until now. Um, each grape, each individual grape is considered an, uh, uh, an item. And if you take two grapes in, in, inside a chatzar, you immediately have for masras. Okay? This is, but uh, Rabbi Tarfon descends and says, no, a cluster is one. Uh, a rimon, a single rimon is one is one fruit. And an avat is, is one fruit. And that you could pick inside a chatzar and eat it in the chatzar without taking masras. This is Rabbi Tarfon. Rabbi Akiva Amer Megar Gerba Eshkol he says, no, uh, you, no. Each, yeah. Excuse me, I had a, a visitor just walk in the door. You guys cannot stay here now. Okay. <laughs> Open the door and that was it. Okay, out you go. So, um, so Rabbi Akiva says um, he's, um, uh, he, 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 each individual grape is going to take them, one, take them off one at a time if he wants to eat without taking masters. We pour it for Rimon. And he has to crack open the rimon on the tree and take it seed by seed. You see, you'll see it as a, as a, as being covered from, as being a single fruit. And when it comes to a melon, you must take out one piece at a. Basically, you're looking at like what's like one mouthful. Each each individual mouthful is uh, is it seems to me is uh, is that's considered a, a unit. And if you take two of those, then you're immediately five in masters. Um, a halacha follows Rabbi Akiva. Kuspar shehi, there's a kuspar is, uh, is that cumin? Yeah. Um, coriander, coriander. Coriander, sorry. Coriander, right. That's if, if coriander is planted in, in a yard, makaratem ale alevi ochel. If he wants to eat the leaves, then he has to take them off one leaf by one leaf. If you took two, that makes it chayev. Hasi ava ha'ezova kornish shebechatzer. So these are, um, various brown, uh, species of uh, of hyssop, uh, um, and uh, they're, they're sometimes eaten. Some you know, they're, they're eaten in a pinch. It's, it's not like um, so. It's, so it's questionable whether they're considered food on Ishmarim Chayavim if they are guarded and protected. So that uh, you know, if the Balim are makbid on 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 people coming in and taking leaves off it, then then that's called chayav. But if not, mashma. If they, if they're not, if they're not particular about people coming in and taking and taking leaves off, and they don't really care, and if somebody wants 
chance to, uh, if he wants to come and have a chance, uh, you know, take a snack off uh, of some of the leaves of the um, of the hyssop, then that's then that's permitted without taking. I'm a little bit confused about something. I think maybe it's the wording that confuses me. Uh, from a vine which is planted in the courtyard, one may take a whole cluster. Likewise, the pomegranate, likewise. The cluster is like a cluster of grapes. That's right, a full cluster. This is Rabbi Tarifun's opinion, remember. So he, he, sees, he sees the cluster as a unit. When he says a cluster, is it like a... I didn't think that pomegranates or melons grow in a cluster, right? No, no, no. The, the, the pomegranate itself, one pomegranate fruit is considered a unit, according to Tarifun. Rabbi Akiva says... Is not of the pomegranate is a, is a fruit. Uh, okay, all right. So, and with this cluster, though, he can, uh, Rabbi Akiva says he can pick the grapes one at a time. And the seeds. See, he has to, he has to pick them one at a time if he wants to not give massa on them. That's right. Okay, all right, I got it. Okay. okay. Yud, Taina Shiva So the, the, the tree is planted in the Chatser, but the branches overhang the, the field, the garden. So the garden is considered not, not, not part of the Chatser, and if you, and a person's allowed to snack inside the garden uh, as much as they want. Ochel Kedarko Opator. So if somebody is standing in the garden, he can he can eat as much as he likes of that tree and and his patter from Masras until because it's because it depends on where he's standing. Omedis begin of a not if the if the tree is planted in the in, in the field, but the, it overhangs the chatzer. And a person standing in the in the chatzer, he has to have one fig at a time. Mm. Okay. He can't. He can't. He can't do them. Do them more at the time. But in Tzeref Chayev, and if then he has to take Trumas and Masras. Omedes ba'aretz v'natel lachutz la'aretz. If the tree is planted in Eretz Israel, and, and its branches extend over the boundary into Chutz la'aretz, or ba'chutz la'aretz v'natel la'aretz, or vice versa, hakol holech achara ikachin. Whether the fruit. Trail, it depends on where the root of the tree is. I so even it. if the fruit overhangs, uh, if it's planted in, in Eretz Israel, but it's still got the denim of Chutz Laaretz, of, of, of Eretz Israel, because it's planted in Eretz Israel. So the root, where yeah. it says follows the roots, but that means... That's right. So wherever it's planted, that's where it's got the denim of and if you and you have to take Trumas and Masters according to Eretz Israel um, from, uh, from those. Says, how, okay. how, how are you going to look for the roots? You know? Subject to Shmita, all those, all those didn't. Well, I mean, you can see where the tree is planted. Right. No, no I mean that. I mean, with the roots itself. I was thinking that you don't know where the... No, you don't, I mean, look, the roots will extend out underneath as well. The, the general rule of, of things, of trees in the garden, is whatever you see below the ground. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um... Now remember, houses, um, houses, and um, the, the inside inside a wall. Situation of houses, if you recall, is different because um, in in a normal house, uh, if you sell if you sell your property, then you get it back after the other old city. Then you got one year to redeem it after after which it becomes permanently the property of the of the buyer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Now, what happens if you've got a tree um, that's planted in a chatzar in a uh, that's in a in a walled city, but it's overhanging outside the walled city? So, is that tree part of the walled first? If it's planted outside and, and leaning inside, and you purchased it, does it have the denim of of uh, of irchoma or of the or of chutzle irchoma? In which case, the uh, and takes effect. Okay, and so this is the mission of ate irchoma hakol oleholech achar ekar. Also. Based on the root, wherever the where the halacha follows, over are mikla takol holech achar hanof, but not so with the the cities of refuge. Remember a, a, a murderer who an accidental murderer who takes re, refuge in in the ir mikla. Once he's in once he's inside the walls, he's safe from. If he goes outside, he's not. If he's under the and this is uh, well, actually, it's the tchum. Once he's inside the tchum of the ear of, of the ear meklat, he set tree planted on the tchum, and it's um, and it, whether the root might be inside or outside, but the but the uh, overhangs both sides. So there, the canopy of the of the of the tree 
extends the protection of the ear miklat. If, if the uh, if the um, is is sitting under the tree, he's safe. Okay, and in Yerushalayim, um, if you want to know if you if you're allowed to eat, uh, say in Kochim Kalim, um, that's by the by the edge of the city, and it's uh, then the then again the the canopy of the tree is what defines what's part of Yerushalayim. Okay. Um, now we said that a person is allowed to eat uh, to just in the field, um, and and uh, and he can, he can snack as much as he likes while he's out in the field without taking chumas and masters. But as soon as he starts getting into sin, like cooking, or as we see over here, salting. Um, um, that the, once once he starts preparing the food, now he's kovei. That's called that, that's not called kovei. He's no longer he's, it's no longer called nushing. He's he's actually making a proper meal out of it, and now he has to take chumas and masters. So kovei is is cooking, uh, and molech is salting. Okay, um, in all these cases, he is high to take chumas and masters before he eats it. However, if he's just storing the produce in the ground. That he is allowed to store it and come back uh, the next day and, and snack on it, and that's fine. Okay. Hamatabel basade pator. If he uh, if he's metabel, he's uh, that he spices. Hold on a second. Um, metabel. Uh, so if he's so he's not so the the beginning of the mission is talking about salting for preservation. Okay. Okay. This salting over here is just to add a bit of flavor. So it's a field, and he picks a tomato and salts it, so it tastes nice before before he eats it. That's not that's not considered uh, salting. That's that's called that's called hatovel. You're just you're just adding a little bit to the flavor, but it's not like a full on food preparation. Okay. Hapotea zaysim patur. If he if he takes olives in the field and he uh, and he breaks them open so that the resin should come out, that's patur. If he, if he comes al basaro patur, and if he squeezes the oil onto his onto his skin and to rub it in, that's also patur. From from he's he's allowed to do that without chumas. However, if he squeezes it so that the so that the oil pools in his hand, now that's uh, that that. Because now he's he's collecting it. It's like putting it into a receptacle. Okay. Okay. Um, is um, oh, which is basically shigama uh, melachta shalayin mishiyikpe. Oh, uh, about the wine. Um, we 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 skims off the top. Okay, so take in other words, he takes off the he, he takes off all of the top, right. and um, and now the Mishnah says that this is that if um, after he puts some wine into a tavshil, tinasan yain le tavshil, hesir me alav etachat sanim vazagim shetzafu lemala. Okay, his pater, his pater from um, from why shekipoi arai hu ve'enu kovei lemas. It's just skimming off the top. Is not is not kovei for maser. Um, the Rishalmi explains. Mudavar kan betavshil tzonen. It's talking about a cold tavshil. We're not as soon as if it if it was cooking, then for sure you would have to take take maser. Okay, she'ilu betavshil rotech hay bishul kovei le maser. Valam akape le kadera. But if he's if he's skimming it to put into a pot into an air, um. Then he's chayv uh, maser. kavor katan. It's like a it's like a small uh, a, and if somebody is makape inside a bore, if he's if he if he's makape inside the inside the wine vat, that is kovei for maser. Okay. All right, let's go back okay. to the beginning of the masechta. Let me just ask you: in K are we we having shit Thursday? Not Thursday, Friday morning. Okay. So we might be going into a, a new uh, a new um, Mishnah. So which one will we go to? Okay, so um, Masters. Are we, uh, oh yeah, I suppose we might be running it. The next one is Master Shaney. Master Shaney, okay.
Okay. Just Aleph Aleph. Say Aleph Aleph, right? Mm-hmm. I have Aleph Aleph. Um, uh, unless I'm in the wrong place, which I shouldn't be. Did we go all the way back to the very beginning? The beginning of Masters. Yeah. Oh, it was a oh, I can't stand doing this. Gotta get a better way to do this. Okay. Um, establish a general rule regarding the mice. Food and his garden and gross in the soil is liable to miserus. And they establish another general rule. Whatever is food at the beginning and is food at the conclusion, even though it keeps the food, is liable, whether small or large. But whatever is not food at the beginning but is food at the conclusion is not liable until it becomes food. When do fruits become liable to miserus? Figs, when they reach the uh, Bochel stage. Grapes and wild grapes at their incipient maturity. Sumac and mulberries when they become red and all them red. Pomegranates when they soften. Dates when they swell. Peaches when they slow veins. Nuts when they form a, a store. And Rabbi Huda says nuts and almonds form. Carobs uh, when they form dark spots and all that are black. When they form dark spots, pears, pippins when they become smooth and all that are white when they become smooth. Fenugreek when they are able to grow grain and olives when they have reached a third. Okay. Yeah. All right. Chumos, base, base. Chumos, base, base is over here. Okay. Uh, one, one may not separate tumor from unclean for clean, but if he did separate tumor, if intentionally he has affected, if in, intentionally he has affected nothing, so too if the son of a Levite who has tevel meisrus continued separating what he did is done. If intentionally he has affected nothing, Rabbi Huda says if he knew at the outset that even he, he if he did it in error he has affected. Okay, let's write this here. Um, okay. If one immerses vessels on the Shabbos, if in error, he may use them. If willfully, he may not use them. If one tithe or cooks on Shabbos in error, he may eat. If willfully, he may plant it, plant it on the Sabbath. If in error, he may retain it. If willfully, he must uproot it. But in the seventh year, whether in error or willfully, he must uproot it. One may not separate tumor from one kind for another, and if he did separate his tumor, it is not tumor. All kinds of wheat count as one, white figs and fig cakes count as one, and one may separate tumor from one for the other. Where there is a priest, one may separate from the superior quality, but where there is no priest, the wat which keeps. The Yehuda says one must always separate from the superior quality. Hey, Dalat. Uh, I have a question for you. Was you from the from the other yes. the other mission at the beginning? Uh, it has nothing to do with this, really. Um, if the road dev is in this, leave the bounds, and he can't go, you know, past the, under the tree, the umbrella or the tree or something, is he allowed to? Is, is a locker allowed to make an error if he wants to go further than to the chum? He, he he's uh, he's stuck in that city. He can he cannot leave for anything. We saw there was an explicit mission that even if he's like the the Ramat Kal of the army, and they need him to go out, he's going to stay there. Right, so they can't make the error. I couldn't remember, so I wanted yeah. to. Okay. All right, we have, um, let's see what this is. Uh, okay, Peya. What do you have for Peya? I have the same thing. Dalet Ches. Dalet Ches, okay. Um, if a person gathered the Peya and said, this is for such and such a poor person. No. You say tes or ches? Ches. ches. The previous one. Yeah, let's just go back to the previous one. Similarly, if a person consecrates his produce before the beginning of the maizrit season and he redeems it, he is liable. After the beginning of the maizrit, he is liable. If he consecrated it before it was finished and the treasurer finished it and afterwards he redeemed it, it is exempt for that. At the time he became liable, it was exempt. And if a person gathered the payer and said, this is for such and such a poor person, Rev. Eliezer says he has acquired it for him. What is a lechet? That which falls down while reaping a person reaped a handful, pluck, pluck a fistful. I think you skipped a page. You're right. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
No. Oh, yeah, I know. But the sages say if he, he shall give it to a poor person whom he meets first, the leket and the shikha uh, and the payah of a non Jewish unless he declared them ownerless. What is a leket, that which falls down during the weeping? If while reaping a person reaped a handful, plucked a fistful, or a thorn struck them in the ground, this is the owner's inside the hand and inside the sickle for the poor, behind the hand and behind the sickle for the owner. The top of the hand and the top of the says for the poor, and Rabbi Kiva says for the owner. Welcome to Rabbi Kiva. Here, Kai Avos. That was fast. Oh, wait, not for, sorry, not for Kai Avos. We're in. We're first going to Olos, that's right. Okay. Um, Olos, we're going we're gonna to be finishing this before I come back, I think. All right. Yeah, we should be. So that'll be you. So the next one is Nagaima. So. Okay, we'll just put this down. Write it. Nagaima. Um, I, let me see. No. Come on. Okay. I have um, uh, your test, Aleph. How do we harvest the grapes of Beit HaPras? First, we must sprinkle on every person and all utensils that will be used in the harvest. And we repeat the sprinkling and then pick and remove the grapes from the base of Prat. People then receive the grapes and transport them to the press. If these people touch those, they become Tame. This is according to Beis Hillel. Beis Shammai uh, says, and palm blast, and he reaps with a sharp stone and then places the grapes into an olive pressing basket and brings them to the press. Beb Yossi says, under what circumstances are these when a vineyard became a base for pras? However, if someone planted a base for pras, the grapes must be sold in the market. In other words, you can't turn them into wine. Um, he's got grapes and, uh, and uh, which are, which are, and um, they where it doesn't matter if they're tame. So it's only, it's only with, with the after the vineyard. But if you planted a vineyard, then we punish him for, for doing that. These are the three types of base of pras. One who plows a grave with the lawns of trees can be planted, but no seeds can be sown except for the seeds from plants that are cut. And if he pulled out the plant, he, pulled, he, it, he piles the produce into the field itself, two sifters. These are the words of Reb Meir. However, the Chachamans say grain with two sifters and legumes with three sifters. The straw and the bean chaff are then burnt, spreads tumor through touch or carrying, but does not render tummy through ohel. A field in which a grave was lost can be planted with any seeds, but no trees can be planted and other trees to remain, except for barren trees that produce no fruit. The field spreads truma through touch, carrying out, a uh, carrying, um, I'm carrying, and oh. you know that there is a there is a grave somewhere in there, and it's a and it's a full grave, and uh, so so we mark there on that on that on that place uh, that that even the trees that field are are considered an oil hell for a uh, for a mace. Okay, uh, now we're going to pick up us. Um, I love bass. I had to get my pair of I didn't realize we were doing pair of already. Mm -hmm. Did you tell we, we started yesterday? It was yesterday. That's why I didn't have it because I didn't know where we're going. Okay, let me get um, pick up. Out of base. Out of base, that's good also. Okay. Shimon Tzadik was one of the remnants of the Great Assembly. He used to say, the world stands upon three, three things, upon Torah, the divine service, and upon acts of kindness. Antiknios, leader of Soko, received the Messorah from Shimon Tzadik. He used to do not be like servants who serve the master for the sake of receiving a reward, but rather be like servants who serve the master for not for the sake of receiving a reward, it should be upon you. Uh, Yossi ben Yosea, the leader of Sidreda, uh, and Yosef ben Yochanan, the leader of the Messorah from them. Yossi ben Yosora, the leader of Sidreda, says, let your house be like a house of meeting for sages and become dusty in the dust and drink their words with thirst. Okay. Okay. This is a great mistake. And Yavamos. This is always a great mistake. Whatever we go through the period, great. This is a, 
it really like hits you, you know, you know, you, but mm. yeah. I'm sorry, what you vamos, you vamos. You vamos, hey, hey. Okay. He, um, if he performed Kalita and then performed Kalita, or he performed Kalita and then Mama, or he gave a bill of divorce or cohabitated and then cohabitated, or he cohabitated and then performed Mama and gave a bill of divorce and performed Kalita, there is nothing after Kalita. It is the same whether it was one Yavamos or two Yavamim with one Yavama. If he performed Kalita and then performed Mama and gave a bill of divorce or cohabitated, or if he cohabitated and then gave a bill of divorce, or perform Kalita, there is nothing after Kalita, whether at the beginning or in the middle or at the end. However, in the case of cohabitation, when it is at the beginning after it, but when it is in the middle or at the end, there is something after it. Then the Chumash says whether it is cohabitation or Kalita, and whether it is at the beginning, in the middle, or the end, there is nothing. One who cohabitated to his Yuvama, whether mistakenly or wantonly, whether conhersed or willingly, even if he was mistaken and she was wanton, was mistaken. Or if he was coerced and she was not, or she was coerced and he was not, whether the union was only partial or complete, he has a, he has acquired. There is no distinction between the forms of cohabitation. Similarly, if one okay, that's uh, that's it. Okay. Yep. That's us for today. That's, that's us until Friday. Right, great. Have a wonderful trip. Enjoy yourselves very much. Thanks very much. My wife says to tell you to uh, keep information in your mind to let us know what it's all about over there. Okay. Be well. Bye. Okay. Cool.